A triumph for a free and impartial justice system. This election marks a triumph of rational judgment and the principle that justice is not for sale and never will be. This was a statement made by Judge Joyce Carlin Fahey during her reelection in 1992. And my response to the statement is one of confusion, because for one, why would a Jewish woman born to a Hollywood studio executive be hard up for cash anyway? And it's not like the people who she pissed off, black people had money to give her anyway. So what is she talking about? You know what I'm saying? And as far as in, uh, her winning the reelection, it had nothing to do with her the righteousness of her decision or how good of a judge she was. It had everything to do with that. The people who are most affected by criminal prosecutions, they don't vote or they're not eligible to vote. You know, the, the poor blacks who she lorded over, who she judged on a regular basis, uh, voting during an election wasn't uh, isn't really a priority for for them. You know what I'm saying? I think most of them don't believe that it would matter who was the judge in this particular district or this particular court because they probably would feel like it would be they would get the same result. You know what I'm saying? Black people only usually vote during major elections. They don't vote for sheriff, they don't vote for ju uh, judges, they don't vote for DAs. And they should. Okay, the people who voted for her, I can I can assure you were, were almost universally white. But back to her assessment of the Latasha Harlan's incident, she says that her decision was impartial, impartial and rational. Okay, whenever she talked. Talk, uh, spoke about the case and her decision. She kept mentioning Soon Jadu's age. She kept referring to her as a middle aged woman. She kept mentioning that she was assaulted and that she was in the midst of battle. She never mentions, not one time, has she mentioned that it was Soon Jadu who grabbed Latasha Harlan's first. That was uh, Soon Jadu who initiated physical, physical uh, uh, who, who initiated the physical altercation first. She never mentions that it was Soon Jadu who grabbed Latasha Harlan's and yanked her across the counter before Latasha Harlan's laid a single finger on her. When you neglect those facts, that doesn't strike me as a impartial uh, impartial assessment of what happened. And furthermore, more, shooting a child in the back of the head after you lost a fight that you initiated isn't anywhere near rational. According to Judge Carlin Fahey, uh, she knows uh she knows criminals. She knows who's a criminal and who who's isn't and who isn't. I don't think this woman knows anything about criminals or or who is a criminal or who isn't. You know, when she grew up in a sheltered uh, environment, you know, you know, what I'm saying you sitting, you going to law school and sitting on a bench in front of a bunch of poor people doesn't give you the insight to know what a criminal actually is. And, you know, her rationale was soon Jadu didn't have a criminal record. But guess what? Latasha Hollins didn't have a criminal record either. She still considered Latasha Hollins to be the criminal. And, 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 and on top of that, we don't even know if soon Jadu had a criminal record in Korea, the country that she's from. We just know that she didn't have a criminal record in the United States until she murdered Latasha Hollins. And, you know, uh, I think it's worth mentioning that I think I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. Judge Carlin Fahey is Jewish. 
And the reason why I think that's worth mentioning is because, you know, there's been a lot of, you know, statements, you know, people are quick to point out specific groups who have anti-black sentiments, you know, Italians, Asians, you know, they don't, you know, everybody's quick to, to, to talk about how much they don't like that these groups don't like black people, but they never mention Jews. And I think they should, because, you know, I think I honestly believe that Jews are just as racist as uh, just as anti-black as these other groups, you know, and in the, the war going on in Israel right now should prove it, you know, but, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, because for one, I mean, the prosecutor who railroaded the Central Park Five was a Jewish woman. You know, and, you know, when I started to get in trouble in my late teens and I started to, to become embedded in the in the system, I came across a lot of Jewish people who ha who I had problems with, you know, who behaved towards me very harshly, you know, and were very draconian in their actions. You know, very cold and draconian in their actions, you know, whether it was a probation officer a DA or a judge, they, for some reason, they found the time to treat me extremely badly. So I think that's worth mentioning, but I think what else is worth mentioning is, uh, Joyce Carlin's daughter, who is a, uh, Joyce Carlin's daughter, uh, is evidently a marriage counselor. Her name is Alexis Fahi, but her last name has been changed to Jarrell because she just got married. She married a man by the name of Patrick Jarrell. You know, so, you know, there you go.